Hi, in this presentation I'm going to show you how to take two photos and put them together in the style of John Stazaka. So the first thing you need to do is open Photoshop and I'm going to start by showing you one of John Stazaka's photos just to give you an idea of what you're aiming for. So there we go, if you do control and zero you can blow the picture up, makes it slightly pixelated sometimes, but it just gives you an idea. So you've got two pictures, one is put on top of the other one, and the features are lined up, and there we have it. And also typically from John Sazaka, these pictures are black and white. Okay, so to start with, you want to open up two portrait photos that have got roughly the same um, perspective. So they're both looking forwards, similar sort of features, um, Obama and Trump. And if you do control zero, I'll do that on the other one. Okay, you can make them obviously a bit larger to work with. Okay, now if you look at the two photos, Obama has got a much larger um, head, much closer shot. So we're going to use Trump and put him on top of Obama. First of all, we'll desaturate. Uh, you know how to do that. So there we go. Go into adjustments, hue saturation, and desaturate. And we'll just increase the contrast slightly. Okay, then we'll do the same on Obama. Here we go. Desaturate. And then do the contrast again. Right, so if we start with Trump, what we're going to do is click on this tool here. We're going to select the photo. Control C for copy, Control V, paste it on the top, and then Control T lets you move it around. Before you move it, you want to click on the opacity over here and just bring that slider down roughly halfway just so that you can see both images and it's, then you can start lining them up properly. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just make the images the same size. Now, if you look, Trump's head is much narrower. Than Obama's, so we're just going to stretch it out slightly and line the ears up. There we go, and then we'll move this down so we get the the eyes lined up next. The eyes really important to get the eyes lined up. There we go. You might decide to bring it down slightly so that the mouth and the nose can also try and match up. It's not easy this always, but you get the idea. If you stretch it out, you want to get it matched up as close as possible. I think if I just zoom out slightly, so let's put that on 200 instead. There we go. And then, okay, it's not going to be perfect, but just working on the eyes and the mouth and the nose. It's getting close. Okay, that's fine for now. Then what you do, accept that, so you click the tick and put the opacity back up to 100. Final thing you need to do, you're going to select an area. So you need the polygonal lasso tool, which is lasso tool, which is here. And I'm just going to click and do it down the middle to just give you an idea. So you click your starting point, click your finish next point. Click your next point, click your next point, and then when you want to finish, go back to start and click again, and it selects it for you. To remove that piece of the photo, you do edit, cut, and there you go. Now, if you're happy with that, that's fine. If you want to, you can always do Control T and just tweak it slightly. If you want to do that, you can do. And then when you're totally happy, accept your changes, and there you go. Now, if you've got anything at the bottom looking like this, you can always crop that out. So, literally, just crop it slightly, move it up. That gets rid of that. And then finally, you just want to flatten your image. So, go on layer, flatten image, save your image as a JPEG. And we'll call it Trabama. And there's already one there, so we'll call it Trabama 2. Make sure it's saved as a JPEG. Click save. There you go. 
John Sazaka style, Obama and Trump. Obviously, you can play around with it. You don't just need to do half and half. Um, you don't just need to do half and half. You could cut any shape you like out. Um, you could do several points. You can change. You can do some color if you like to. You can play around with it. But that is the idea behind um, the experiment. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and you'll get more presentations on different um, photographic um, techniques in the future. Thank you.